Hey guys, my name is Kimrani. I want to work more play. The Legends of Twilight Princess. I kind of need to take a breath for a second. <gasps> oh, goodness. Okay. So, um, every time I start, uh, the recording, I have to take, like, take a breath right before I say my intro. But for some reason, like, the, it took a really long time for this map to load. Probably because, like, Hylia is just so huge. Uh, but it took a little while longer for it to load than usual, so I was just sitting there holding my breath, waiting for the screen to, to brighten up before an image to appear. <laughs> but it never came. Well, it eventually came. But it took a while. Um, anyways, besides the point... Welcome back to Mortal's Play, The Legends of Twilight Princess. So in the last episode, we returned to regular light to Lake Hylia. And in this episode, we're going to go do stuff. Um, which, by the way, it's worth taking a look around. There's something that's really cool right over there. You can kind of see um, a few... Um, you can see the tri a few, like, Triforce... I don't know what to call them. Statues? Not statues. I don't know. Uh, there's a bridge. And other stuff, yeah. So it looks really cool just looking around this area. Um... But besides the point, let's get going. Uh, in this episode, we're going to be doing uh, main story stuff, so not really any side quests. Uh, I just want to get this event out of the way. And I don't know if this video will be longer than usual or shorter than usual. I don't know. Um, but we do have a bit of a lengthy cutscene segment coming out. I am a member of the Zora tribe, the proud people who, ca who take care of Lake Hylia. The other Zoras are on guard, are on guard patrol at the bottom of the lake. And you're the poor guy who's a set up here. Yeah, they had the cool job, really. But anyways, let's talk to you. You clown. Oh my gosh, look at his back. Dude, you got serious back problems. Um, I know somebody in my, uh, so, well, so I, there's somebody that I know who actually has a back that's like that, and they're hunched over, and I kind of, anyways, that's the point. Hmm, some of the Zoras are still alive down under here. I thought maybe we dried it. Uh, maybe they. I thought maybe they dried up along with the lake. Hey, buddy, have you heard? There's like a temple or something at the bottom of the lake. They put they put on such airs with all their rituals and fancy temple hoo ha. Then they just disappear. And what's the putting a temple so deep that humans can't swim there? I swear, those auras. No, oh, are you a customer? <laughs> so that's the point. Yes, we are one lucky fella. The height of excitement, the thrill of launching the heavens, the very peak of flying specimen. What? Fantastication? Okay. It can be yours, fella. For a limited time only, and without waiting in line, it's a paltry ten rupees. Yeah, dude, there is no line. What do you say, buddy of mine? Wanna give it a shot? Special repairs? No thanks. Give it a shot. Let's give it a shot. Welcome, fella. Alright. Uh, yeah, this way. Okay. So. Anyway, besides the point. You think you have a minigame coming up? No, you don't. The door closes. And then he cranks his gear, and this really, really wacky music plays. And then he makes those weird noises. Now, if I were Link, I would seriously doubt the accuracy of this thing, especially with all the shaking and everything it does. In fact, I think we're kind of lucky to make it up here alive, but besides the point, let's continue on. Then Min is going to say some pointless stuff, but I'll read it anyways. Wow, that reminds me of something. Didn't the, didn't the late queen in Zora's domain ask her to do something? She asked us to find her son, the one who's been missing since he headed for Ka Hyrule Castle. I think she said something about granting you some special power if you rescued him. At the final piece of the few shadows on the bottom of the lake, Hylia, that looks like we'll need that. Then it looks like we're gonna need that ability. Yeah, no kidding. So basically, it's kind of laid out for us. We need to go help um, the, the late queen's son, so we can get the special ability to go to the next temple of the game, which is at the bottom of the lake. Now, this next temple that's coming up is actually my least favorite in this entire game. In fact, to me, it is the hardest temple I've ever played through in Zelda. Uh, just me though, and yes, I have played well, partially played through the water temple in Ocarina of Time, but there's a key word, um, but, the key, but that's a key word is um, not fully. I forgot the word that I said. I have what played? Partially, yeah, partially is a key word. Anyways, besides the point, I'm gonna ride to Hyrule now, and I've just realized I've already wasted five minutes and shoot, like, t like, just rambling at the beginning of this video. So we will see you guys, or I rather, I will see you guys at Hyrule Castle. Okay, we're here. And by the way, you guys can probably tell that I'm a little bit more optimistic in this video than I have been in the past few, uh, if you've been watching. Okay, you're gonna die now, I'm kidding, actually, I don't really want to waste time killing you. Um... Uh, Mr. Link! Wait! Uh. 
Greetings, Mr. Link. I have a new. I have a. I have come to deliver a letter. There's a letter for you, and two letters, in fact. <laughs> well, my business is concluded. Onward to mail. <laughs> Why don't they get you a horse, you poor guy? Anyways, um. Oh, I guess we should probably read those letters. Actually, I kind of don't want to, but. Oh well, we'll read the letters. So what do they say? Um. Post office. Those okay. Now open for business. Lenny Tourism. The Lenny Tourist Association has prepared a grand tour of natural splendor. Um, our current main attraction is um, Isa and Hennis Playground for grown-ups. You'll, <laughs> you'll find immediately down in the riverbank from the Zora Waterfall Pool. Um, Isa's rapid ride. Shoot at targets while riding the raging river rapids. No extra charge for using bomb arrows. Hennis Fishing Hole. Uh, it's a fight against nature with lure fishing. What kind of fish can you catch? Yeah. Urge of bomb arrows. Thank you for your thank you for your patronage. Enjoy the power of our bombs. Only can you okay yeah, tell us about bomb arrows. But that's the point. Well, let's continue because we have things to do. I just realized this video might actually be kinda lengthy, so I kinda wanna get ahead and onto things. Um But you guys can probably tell I'm a little bit more optimistic in this video than I have been the past few. Um Now, all the stuff that happened, uh the two major things that I was kinda down about. They didn't have to the very last video, but even before that, I don't know, I just, I, I've been less optimistic recently, I don't know, um, I don't think it, I don't know, it's nothing to worry about, it, it was just a time when I was just, I don't know, uh, but besides the point, feeling a little bit better about stuff now, let me look at the mini-map so I don't get lost in Hyrule, <laughs> in Hyrule Castle, uh, feeling a little bit better about things right now, and, uh, yeah, I'm excited to record. Um, it's worth mentioning that I'm going out of town for six weeks, six weeks, no, excuse me, six days, um, this, uh, Saturday, and I'm recording this on Thursday, so, actually, let's see, today is the 7th, when you guys see this, I will be leaving, actually, for, um, a, uh, cruise, I'll be gone for six days, it's gonna be really nice. Anyways, besides the point, we have cutscenes coming up. That is the Zora Child, it is beyond my expertise. Hmm. <laughs> Doctor, wait. If something isn't done, this, this child will... Human doctor won't do, huh? <sighs> oh. That old kid reminded me, though. I've heard of a shaman in Kakariko Village, in the Elden Lands, who ascended to Goron's and Zora's. Is that true? Perhaps if we take him there. <clears throat> Inadvisable. Too dangerous. Well, we can't turn a blind eye to a pretty girl in need, either. Yes, we'd better escort you. Am I right, boys? <laughs> well, isn't that nice? To reach Kakariko, we've got to cross two plains that are each infested by dangerous beasts. But we'll be safe now. <laughs> Cowards, don't ever show your faces here again. Hmm? Oh my. Looks like we've got one young swordsman left. Not only that, but it looks like this brave young man will help escort us. So get ready to go, honey. Pronto. You know that girl, don't you? It's a real shame. She can't even remember her own name right now. Bless her heart. She found this poor boy collapsed in the road, so she did all she could to save him. More courage in that girl than all the soldiers in Hyrule for sure. You lend your strength to her. You hear me? <laughs> 
So you say the bridge to the east has been destroyed, huh? Then our only option is across the bridge to the west. See what that means? You have to deal with that thing. So thank you so much for this. Um, if you don't mind me asking, what's your name? Link? I will never in all my life forget your kindness, Link. Little lady, I think it's best you save your thanks until we're safe with Kakariko. The swordsman of ours has great eyes, honey. They're proud and wild, like a feral beast. We need a beast right now to keep the true ones at bay. If we make it to Kakariko safely, we'll just thank him then, okay? So it begins, and for those of you who played Majora's Mask, this may seem a little familiar to you. Well, the mechanic is going to be very similar actually. Um, I'm talking about the uh, side quest when you help, oh goodness names, um, Mel no I can't think of her name, uh, but it's the uh, quest of Majora's Mask when you're um, helping her deliver milk to Castletown, uh, Romani's sister that is. But besides the point. I think the side quest is actually a little bit better than that one, in my opinion. Or oh, this little event right here. It's a lot more thrilling, really. Okay, it's your turn, honey. We're counting on you. So, I practiced for this as best as I could. Um, my advice, don't do what I just did. Just go normal speed, shoot, and then you're going to want to dodge to whatever side he's not going to. Uh, that's usually you're going to want to hang to the right. Um, you don't want to speed up. I recommend going at normal speed until you've shot him. Uh, once you start going, you can go into first person with your arrows. He's going to move to the right and to the left to make it hard for you to hit. You try to dodge your arrows, but eventually you will hit him. And that'll be it. Hopefully this time for King Bulbin. You got the gate keys! <laughs> these, ga these keys open the gates along the path to Kakariko. That was very convenient indeed. <laughs> nice, honey. Keep up the good work. The key just came flying out of the sky and landed into our hands. Like, maybe he, like while he was like, falling down, he was like, No! You're forgetting this! And he threw the key back up to us, who knows. Anyways, the side quest continues. Um, and if you guys remember, we had uh, bandits who were trying to um, attack the uh, cart in Majora's Mask. Well, a similar thing's gonna be happening here. So, there are two items you're gonna wanna have equipped, and those are your arrows, and, or not your arrows, but um, your bow, and your gale boomerang. Uh, there will be, if you look right above, you're, there's some arrows that are already coming down. Uh, as far as I know, there is no chance of the cart being hit quite just, yo, oh, look, there I go, being wrong. Um, but have your Gale Boomerang out in case you need it. Oh yeah, it, you, you do get hit right there at the very end. But most of the time you don't need to worry about those arrows right there at the very beginning. Um, have your Gale Boomerang equipped and I recommend just kind of staying to the back. Don't venture ahead. Well, you, we ha kind of have to right here to open up the gate. Um, but stay back a little bit so you can fight out the enemies that will appear. Okay, let's link. Epona, stop! I just want to get off. Thank you. Um, and uh... You just want to stay to the back and attack the enemies that will soon be coming, and you'll see what I mean. Um, and have your Gale Boomerang equipped in case we need to put out the fire that's on the carriage. Oh, thank goodness you're waiting for me, actually, because I was having a hard time getting out of here. Yeah, there are a few times uh, later that are a little bit frustrating when trying to control Epona and trying to navigate some areas, but we'll get to that later. Um, and I believe that if you get ahead, um, the cart will speed up to catch up to you. Um, and also, here's another tip. There are two on the back of each 
of the uh, wild boars that we have right here. I don't know if they're boars or what they are. They're a little big for boars. There are two on each one. And also, um, these guys right here, they look pretty harmless, right? No, they're carrying bombs. They will drop them in front of the path of the cart and will try to do damage to the cart and its inhabitants, which are Elia and Thelma. Um, so shoot those out of the sky when you can. When chaos ensues and the... Um, but when also a good thing to do is that you don't have to shoot every single enemy. You can just kind of hang back and just kind of slash them off with your sword as well. Let's see. Okay, you're taken care of. Let's get back on track. Go, boar, get out of my way. Oh, hope you didn't die. I'm so sorry, boar. Okay, 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 okay. This is These are the parts right here where I was talking about that are kind of frustrating. Um, you have to catch up a little bit. Yep. I think I'm got to be a little too late right up here. Um, let's see. Catch up. Yep. Right there, road bomb. Yeah. And once Chaos ensues, the horse will go off track, actually. Um, just kind of go around in circles until you take, until you like keep all the enemies at bay. Ironically, there weren't any until you start going to that circle, but oh well. Let's see. It's gonna shoot you. Arrows are a bit slow. They're not quite bullets. They're not quite like bullets, as you see. And it looks like the carriage is caught on fire. Great. Now you don't have to worry about the carriage too much. It doesn't like, it doesn't really catch on that fast. Okay, come on. You do need to try to put it out when you can, though. Wait a second. Okay, okay, yeah, 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 the horse is running in circles, I'm well aware. Okay, but yeah, put out the fire with the Gale Boomerang, take care of these guys when you can. Um, and even on, and if you leave them on the ground like I just did, they'll still attack. Um, like, if, if they're, he's still alive, as you see. Um, and I don't know if they'll get back, I don't know if they'll get back in the back of their, um, of the uh, horses or not, not the horses, I don't know if they'll get back on the boards or not. But, um, yeah, they will still shoot arrows once you've gotten them to the ground, unfortunately. But let's see. Oh, not you again. No! Crap. So close. Okay, please. There you go. Both of you are taken care of. Oh, and also, don't worry about arrows either because you do get those. Okay, I'm like so close to you. Okay, oh goodness, you're on fire again. Yeah, this um, this can actually take longer than it needs to if you're having a bit of a hard time like I am. Let's see, I want to take you out. There you go. You're not going to foil my plans again. At least not, hopefully. Okay, come on, come on. No, I wanted to get onto the carriage. There you go. Take care of you both. There you go. Hop off real quick. Go unlock the gate. Goodness. Okay, finally. I was afraid that um, since it was still on fire that it would go around in a circle again, but luckily, things worked out. He has passed through the worst of it. As long as he rests, he should recover in due time. <laughs> Do you know the fate of his mother? Her welfare consumes him. He's been mumbling deliriously about her almost constantly. I can say the knowledge grieves you. It must be an awful memory. I'll stay with him until he's better, no matter how long it takes. Is that so? Thank you, Colin. Hey, Link, about Elia. Is it true, what they said about her? Yes, she has lost memory, Colin, and regaining it will be no simple task. But it'll be alright, child. If we just give her some time, I'm certain that Ely will find her heart again. So, Colin, I'd like to ask you to stay in this village until then. It is our turn to show the courage that you have already displayed. Nice to see there's still hope here, and it's always good to see happy results repay your efforts. Those skills of yours, any chance you have the mind to put them to use for Hyrule? What hope there is in our kingdom is frail and dying, but there's still a group trying to do what it can. And I'm a member of that group. 
Call me Toma. I may just stay here a bit longer. I'm worried about Elia. And, well, never mind about the rest. Link, I want to see my bar again. You hear me? The bar is actually kind of a safe house for my friends. There is a passageway that leads to the castle from in there as well. If you ever need anything, stop by. I'll be waiting for you, honey. Oh crap, actually I kind of forgot about that part right there. <laughs> oh well, um, I think I'll actually save that for uh, the next step. I oh no, I'm not going to save it. Okay, fine, we'll make this video a little bit longer. Alright, she's going to reward us for helping her son. And there'll be more dialogue, more cutscene, this video will just be long and I'll have to accept that fact, but oh, okay. I'll be fine. Anyways. I wasn't kidding when I said there's a lot of cutscenes in this video. And into the graveyard, how fitting. But, what we're about to obtain will help us coming up here. So it is important that we get this. Into the hole. And I always thought this area was really cool. deeply grateful for you for aiding my son in this time of need. You were right to bring him here. Kaikriko Village is a sacred place for the Zora people. It is where we take our eternal rest. My husband in life, King Zora, also rests his spirit here. It is no coincidence my son found salvation in this place. That which I promised you with is within this grave. During his lifetime, my husband created garments, specifically for the chosen hero. Garments that hold the abilities of Zora. You got the Zora armor. The special garment was handed down through the Zora royal family. If you have it equipped, you can move freely in the water, but you will be more vulnerable to fire and ice attacks. Now, at last, I can join the king in a slumber. And yet, my son, he still knows nothing of my death. If you see him again, please pass on this message. Tell him he must not grieve his mother's passing. Tell him she wanted him to be brave and live on as the king of our people. And, tell him his mother who loves him without end. Tell him. Well, that's gonna be that, that's kind of gonna be a bit of an issue. See, we we don't really talk. <laughs> well, it's a good thing we found. Well, it's a good thing you found all the, all of your friends and picked up that nifty Zora armor. But aren't you forgetting something kind of important? The last few shadow. Remember what Farron the Light Spirit said? He said you need a few shadows to defeat the Dark Overlord Zant and save the world. So even if you go back, but now with all with all the people you saved, the whole tragedy would just repeat itself. So let's go get it. We need to go to the temple on the lake bed of Hylia. Of Lake Hylia. So, uh, I think I'll end the video right here, actually. And we'll try on that Zora armor in the next episode. Next time, let's play The Lens of Zelda Twilight Princess. We will continue on. So, thank you guys for watching. And please enjoy the last few moments of this video. Just taking in the beauty of this place. So, 
Goodbye, guys.